The INEC chairman urged media organizations to engage with political parties as well as their aspirants and report on the primaries with the same diligence and depth they report the main election conducted by INEC. INEC boss further assures that the commission will continue to collaborate with the media on the activities of the electoral body. Important reality in today's age of information technology is the spread of fake news and misinformation instantly and on a global scale. As I said on many occasions, INEC does not believe in censorship. The best antidote to fake news is greater openness and transparency. It is in furtherance of this policy that the Commission interfaces regularly with stakeholders through our regular consultative meetings. We appreciate our partnership with the media and I want to reassure you that INEC will continue to work very closely indeed with you. In the remark, the president of Nigerian Union of Journalists, NUJ, Chris Isoguzo, says the media would continue to uphold the sanctity of the ballot and safeguard the democratic aspirations of the citizens. He promised that the NUJ will continue to support INEC through accurate reportage of its activities to assist the electorate in making informed decisions. Together, we must uphold the sanctity of the ballot box and safeguard the democratic aspirations of our nation. It is hoped that our collective efforts would pave the way for a brighter, more prosperous future for all Nigerians. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, says it will publish the personal particulars of the candidates in form of EC9 for their dual state governorship election on the 31st of this month as required by law. For the undo governorship election scheduled for 16th of November 2024, Professor Yakubu said political parties are expected to commence the conduct of primaries in the next two weeks. Tosin to Luwa Loju, reporting for BTV News.